Now for your get ready weather update with meteorologist Robert Sir. Robert, uh, just cold, rainy, cloudy, just not a great day outside. No, not a great day, not a great weekend, but the weather, uh, depends on what you think of it, is going to improve in a way. At least we'll get rid of the rainfall, but the very cold temperatures are going to stick around. And because of all that cold weather, we do have a freeze warning in effect for Northwest Arkansas tonight. This could put an end or start to put an end to our growing season across Northwest Arkansas. Freeze warning extends back to the west and back to the north. Now the frost or the freeze watch here is not in effect tonight uh, for our River Valley counties. This goes for tomorrow evening, but the uh, freeze warning for Northwest Arkansas as well as Northern Johnson County that goes through tomorrow morning. So keep that in mind and our freeze chances are very good this week, both Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday morning. Uh, very strong confidence in, in a hard killing freeze, maybe as well as Thursday morning. River Valley a little less uh, best chance for that freeze will be Wednesday morning, but can't roll it out Tuesday morning as well as Thursday morning. So if you've got sensitive vegetation, uh, bring it in just to be safe. If you've got row crops, though, get them harvested sooner then later you can see all that cold air just to our north. All of it's spilling in our direction. Look at the temperature difference here. It's 41 in Fayetteville, but 82 in southeast Arkansas right now. So uh, big clash between summer and winter going on right now. Uh, closer to home, upper 30s and lower 40s in northwest Arkansas. Upper 40s for the most part with a few 50 degree readings hanging on in the River Valley. Big picture shows all that rainfall. And yeah, there is some mixing going on as that cold air is starting to undercut uh, the rainfall and change some of that over to a wintry mix. That also has the potential to happen for us as we go through the rest of the night. You can see all this rainfall moving off, but as we get toward midnight or so, a couple of those raindrops may freeze and become sleep pellets in Northwest Arkansas, especially as you get into the higher elevations, Carroll, Madison, Newton and Boone County into central Arkansas, but will create no travel impacts at all. I want to stress that. Don't worry that the roads are going to ice up or anything like that. Ground temperatures are still too warm for any of that. Maybe a couple of leftover showers uh, overnight in the River Valley. Tomorrow with temperatures go almost nowhere despite the sun returning. And then uh, Monday night, we're already down into the 30s and waking up Halloween morning, a very cold morning yet again, 20s and 30s. Lows tonight on average, upper 20s and mid 30s. That's why the freeze warning is in effect for Northwest Arkansas and temperatures tomorrow go almost nowhere. 40s and maybe a couple of lower 50s uh, the further south and east you get. But overall, we're done with the rainfall, uh, but we've got impact mornings Monday through Thursday because of the very cold temperatures. Bundle up if you're going trick or treating Tuesday night uh, and you can see several mornings with hard killing freezes ending the growing season, but we warm up as we get toward next weekend, uh, closer toward average temperatures, I should say. Uh, same thing in the River Valley. Plenty of cold mornings, but lots of sunshine, and we're back to where we should be by this time next weekend. Busy, busy weekend for Razorback Athletics, minus the football team. Cameron Johnson has everything you need to know right after the break.